Oh, that's cool. Bia has uh, uploaded a video. Let's check it out. And after about, I think, almost four months of looking into the space at this point, I've come to the conclusion that day trading Forex is basically gambling. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about is Forex gambling? Short answer, no. Long answer, let's get into it. What I will say is that Forex, just like stocks, is obviously not gambling, but it has the same behaviors behind it compared to in actual gambling, like at a casino. As an example, when you walk into a casino and you play blackjack or something, right? Let's say you're on a roll. You start making good money. You're really happy. What happens? You double down, you put more money and you start doing higher risk bets. And that is where you go wrong. That is when you actually start to lose money. What happens in gambling is the exact same thing that happens in day trading, whether it's stocks or Forex, people have euphoria, they get very happy that they're making quick money. And then what happens is they blow their account because of one stupid mistake. That is where people think Forex is gambling. First, before you can say Forex is gambling, we have to look back and we have to analyze why people think that. So people think Forex is gambling, why? Because you can make a lot of money really quick, you can lose a lot of money really quick, and same thing with a small amount of money. You can make a little, you can lose a little. 99% of people end up not making money at all, or they end up breaking even, which is better than losing money. But either way, most people don't make money. And why is this? Day trading in general was not built for human beings because day trading goes against your natural emotions as a human being. The way I like to look at it is when you're looking at the chart, you're not looking at price. You're not looking at candlesticks. You're not looking at wicks. What you are seeing when you're looking at a chart, it's a representation of society as a whole. The stock market and the Forex market is a living, breathing entity. It's not just a computer screen. It's not just numbers on a chart. It actually has its own life form. It has, a, it has an actual soul attached to it. How many times have you thought to yourself, I felt personally attacked when this trade went against me? The moment you open a trade, it goes against you and it hits your stop loss. And then what happens when it hits your stop loss? It reverses to your take profit. That's not a coincidence. That was meant to happen. Something I came up with, I'm pretty sure someone came up with this quote and I just don't know of it, but one thing I always say is this, whenever you feel like doing something, something is about to happen. As an example, uh, back in the day when home phones were a thing, I mean, people still have home phones, but before I had a cell phone, back in the day when I lived with my parents and we had a home phone, um, way before I even had a cell phone, I would always have to wait for that home phone to ring if my best friend was gonna call me. And uh, he would tell me, yeah, I'm gonna call you around this time. And then, you know, you can come over to my birthday party, all that stuff, right? Um, so we would wait for the phone call. And I remember there was this one time I really had to use the bathroom, but it was either wait for the phone or use the bathroom and then wait for the phone. And I couldn't just bring the phone with me in the bathroom because, you know, if my family members needed to use it, they needed to pick it up right away, right? So I wasn't allowed to bring it with me in the bathroom. So at that moment, I decided, you know what? Let me go to the bathroom. I have to go really bad. And then hopefully he calls me by the time I get out. Coincidentally, the moment I got to the bathroom and sat down, guess what? The phone rang and it was my best friend calling. The universe is always going to do whatever it can to make you regret the decisions that you just made. So whenever you feel like doing something, that is how you know something is about to happen. So why am I saying all this? I'm saying all this because this is very key as to why people think day trading is gambling specifically Forex. For those of you that don't know, the person that I just showed of a video clip, his name is Bia Heza. Shout out to him, by the way. I love his videos. He actually featured me on one of his previous videos. He, we did like a 20, 30 second interview. He included me in it and uh, he makes really great videos. But there's one downside about the videos he was making about Forex. The thing is that people think that just because they deposit a lot of money or people think that just because they do a lot of research in a short period of time, and they think that because they get involved in the market and they do a lot of testing and research that they think that they know about it. They think that they really can make an informed decision about something, even though they've only been doing it for like a month. If you've only been doing something for a month, do you really think that you're equipped with enough knowledge to determine if something is gambling or not? You know, by the way, I have, I have nothing against him. I, he's a great guy. It's just, I just don't agree, obviously, with what he's saying is that Forex is gambling. When I first started trading, I lost so much money in my first three years. It, it was unbearable to see. I remember one time I was doing my taxes uh, three years ago, consistently losing for three years. I realized I wasn't bad at trading. I was just bad at risk management. And I was looking back through Bia videos about Forex 
And literally, <laughs> one of his first videos where he opened an account with Forex.com, which is a US brokerage, by the way, he was trading on the Forex.com trading platform. And it said, I'm still not sure about how all the pip stuff works, but over here it says that I'm trading with about 40% of my account. So that sounds good to me. What? This is why people think it's gambling. It's because of behaviors like that. I actually decided to read some of the comments and I wanted to see if there were other people that had the same thoughts as I uh, when it came to what he was saying and about him risking a lot of his account and then saying Forex is gambling. Well, it's like if your behavior when entering the market is very high risk and you don't make money in the end of your 30, 60 day test, of course you're going to think it's gambling because you're risking a lot and you're not thinking long term. So I was scrolling down and I was reading his comments and this comment I'm going to throw up here pretty much summarized exactly what I was thinking. So here's the comment from Elvino. This pretty much summarizes exactly how I felt when I watched him say Forex is gambling. Well, this is my rebuttal as well as Elvino's. Poor risk management, way too high position sizing, no applied strategy that was backtested, trading under a uh, two, you know, two risk reward ratio is basically burning money. More studying required, my friend. Awesome idea slash video though, respect. And I have high respect for him. I love Biahaz's videos. I have nothing against him. At the end of the day, if you've only been trading for a month or two, uh, don't think that you can just hop in, make a few videos and then claim it's gambling when there are many people out there like myself who make a living from day trading and we know that there is no secret to day trading. There is no secret to it. It's not gambling. Just like there are people out there who can make a living from poker, or make a living from actual gambling. It's because they have something called an edge. Now, what is an edge? An edge in the market is when you have something that most of the time it's going to work in your favor. Here's what I mean. It, it's usually based on a set amount of rules. As an example, with my strategy, I have a set amount of rules. Look for key levels of support and resistance. That's rule number one. Rule number two, look for something specific, which I'll teach you. And then if you see that specific thing, you get in the trade. That is it. So because that is the way I'm looking at things, I have a set amount of rules. I cannot get into the trade unless it's at a key level of support or resistance, or in this case, supply and demand. I cannot enter the trade unless it's at one of those key levels. And if I go against my rules, guess what happens? I have a high chance of losing that trade. And at that point, I can't blame the market. I can't blame the industry. I have to blame myself because I didn't follow my own rules. So in this case, my edge in the markets is my simple strategy, but it's also my simple uh, rules that I have to follow. And it's also my mindset. I've been trading for over five years now to the point where when I see specific things, I know what to avoid. I know how to handle things. I know how to handle my losses. I know when to step back. I know when to take a break. If I had a losing streak for the day or the week, I know how to take, take a step back and take a chill pill, right? Most people can't handle that. Most people don't have an edge in the market. They don't have experience. Then before he said that earlier in the video, he actually mentioned that, oh, the only way you can pretty much make money, well, not the only way, but he was saying the main way people are making money is just by uploading videos to YouTube and talking about Forex and promoting uh, their brokerages. Um, can't the same thing be said for Shopify dropshipping? I can't tell you how many Shopify dropshipping videos I have seen on YouTube where they are pushing their Shopify affiliate links. When you go to shopify.com and you go to the bottom and click their affiliate program, you can see that you can make a ton of money when people create an account. As long as they create their account, sign up for the trial, I think they either got to pay, uh, sign up for the trial or uh, they, they actually pay for their first month. It's a very cheap product when in terms of price, but it's a very high quality product. The price is very inexpensive. So if you upload a video talking about Shopify dropshipping, and if you hype people up about the industry, you know how many people on YouTube suck at, drop, at Shopify dropshipping and yet they act like they're a professional just to get millions of views and then they'll make $30,000 in one month just from Shopify affiliate links? So with that being said, the same thing that he is saying in this video can be applied exactly to any industry out there. But there are a few, there, there are a handful of people out there that are really good at the industry and they know what they're doing and you just got to find those people. So again, I respect Bia has this video. I love the guy's videos, but at the same time, there's a huge flaw in what he was saying, because again, if you've only been trading for a month or two, in my opinion, you don't, you don't have the right to say day trading is gambling. Every experienced gambler in a casino knows that the best way, the chances for you to make money are a lot higher. If you're doing something like blackjack, uh, if you're doing something like poker, doing something where it involves more skill and it involves more understanding of people's mentality and people's mindset, and uh, you know people's mindset as a whole, that is where you have a greater chance at making money. You do not have a chance at all of making money at a slot machine. And people tend to treat trading like a slot machine, which is why they end up thinking it's gambling.
So that's it for this video. I just wanted to point that out there. Shout out to B. Has a follow his videos, subscribe to him. You know, I'm promoting him 100% because I've been watching his videos, um, I think for about one to two years now. And I've always fallen in love with them. He produces really high quality content, but you know, this was something I definitely disagreed with uh, saying trading is gambling. It's only gambling if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have the right mindset. And if you don't have an edge in the market, once you have an edge in the market, it's game over. Bye bye. You are now a money printer. Your bank goes. Boop. Anyways, that's it. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Trade safe.